Well, hey, y'all are this afternoon. This is your buddy George Jones over here at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on eight. What's the difference between a Mossberg and a Maverick? Well, we're going to find out right here. The Maverick, this one is a seven shot. The Maverick simply has some simple design changes in it that makes it a little bit cheaper to manufacture, thereby a little bit cheaper to sell. And a lot cheaper to sell, actually. So let's let's take a look at the two of them. The only difference I can find as a certified Mossberg armorer, the only difference I can find between the Maverick and the Mossberg is this. The Mossberg's forearm carrier, the part underneath the wood, which is a metal tube, which the action bars is attached to, is, is on there and it's all metal and it's got a collar that holds the forearm in place. Okay? And that simply screws on there and tightens the forearm up on this metal piece that's underneath here. Uh, and then there's the safety. The safety's up here on top and this slot has to be milled in there and that piece that constitutes the safety inside of here that blocks the action it's a milled piece of metal and it's put on there and that's the way they've always done it up until the time that they decided to come out with the Maverick now the Maverick simply is a molded piece of plastic for the forearm with no metal liner in it no metal piece that the uh, action bars are attached to the forearm they're simply attached up here by means of a pin on both sides. Now I've shot this gun extensively and I've shot a lot of Mavericks and I've seen a lot of Mavericks used in the field for everything from hunting to trap shooting to police use. Uh, I've never seen this fail. I've never seen that broken. Uh, the Maverick has its safety up here in front of the trigger guard, okay? Pretty good place to put it, actually. Uh, a lot of newer shotguns has that, Winchester and so forth, have the safeties up here in front of the trigger guard. That omitted the need to, the process to mill out the place for the slide safety to go on the rear tang portion of the receiver, and it omitted the manufacturing of those internal parts, okay? That's the only difference I can find, technically, between the Mossberg and the Maverick. Internally, it's the same. The safety works a little bit differently, but most of the internal parts interchange one gun to the next. It's possible to take the safety mechanism out of that gun and then take the trigger group out of this one and put it in that one. <coughs> uh, you know, it's possible to take this forearm and action bar assembly out and put it in the other one and make it work. Um, there's no there's no difference between the two other than those two uh, mechanisms that make the Maverick a little bit cheaper to manufacture. How much cheaper? Well, a Mossberg 500 Home Defender Riot Gun, which typically comes with a fixed stock and a pistol grip, is about two hundred and oh ninety nine dollars three hundred bucks three and a quarter in that neighborhood these guys with a conventional stock on them are about two hundred and ten dollars so you know it's a hundred bucks cheaper any way you look at it this gun the maverick is a hundred dollars cheaper and i find no no uh mechanism why I could say that the Maverick is better than the Mossberg or the Mossberg is better than the Maverick. It's just they manufacture the Maverick a little bit cheaper in ways that it doesn't affect the performance of the gun. Uh, let's get some ear mufflers on and see how many uh, mini shells will fit in a seven shot Mossberg or Maverick. We've got a bunch of them right here off camera. And I'm going to go to chunking them in there. Let's go to chunking them in there. See what we can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four. And it could have been a little bit better prepared and filled my pocket up ahead of time. put in there. <laughs> Let's give it a try here. These are number four buck, 15 pellet, one, two. Let's run one up in there. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's like that's it, thirteen. 13. You can put 13 in there with one in battery. So the magazine will hold 12 and then one in battery gives you 13. Hmm. You know, I hate to I hate to unload a gun manually. <laughs> hate to unload a gun manually. Let's give it a try here. Boy, you can take them to Pump City with mini shells. That was 13 rounds of, 13 rounds of 15 pellet number four buck. Uh, you can really, ouch, that's kind of hot. <clears throat> that's not bad, that's not bad at all. <clears throat> the guy that invented this guy, the little, piece of rubber that allows the mini shell to function correctly in the eighth in the uh, Mossberg that's one of those Bud Light men of pure genius right there buddy or maybe it was a girl but anyway whoever did it did a good thing well that's about the size of it for the appreciable differences between the Mossberg and the Maverick uh, like take share pie commentate and subscribe uh, leave me a little dollar in the Patreon bucket if you want to, and if you don't, I keep right on making content for you anyway. Uh, Y'all have a uh, wonderful day, and we'll see you when we see you.